When tree leaves turn yellow, Kansas fisheries biologists get busy with annual fall test netting on many Kansas waters. Gill nets are strung and then run a day or so later to catch fish samples and determine quantity, growth rates, and condition of game fish going into winter. This helps manage Kansas fisheries for best angling year-round. Nets of various mesh sizes are used to sample different sized fish. Fish try to swim through the nets and become lodged behind their gill plates. Where one inch nets may be used to sample forage species such as small shad, five inch nets are needed to sample trophy game fish. Scale fish usually don't survive gill netting, though fortunately most catfish do. Even so, the mortality trade-off is worth it for spot checking a fishery's condition. Immediately after nets are pulled, fish are disentangled, weighed, and measured. Data are compiled and analyzed later, since often more than a dozen lakes must be sampled by each biologist in early fall. Lakes are often compared and management strategies may be modified depending on sample results. Fish are always quickly released back into their homes when possible. Fall gill netting. It's all part of the process of making Kansas fishing the best it can be. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.